Hello, good evening everyone and welcome to the Cup of Geek podcast. But wait, nagugulat kayo bakit kami nandito and we're not on our regular um, YouTube channel. Uh, so right now, the Cup of Geek Boys is on the Geek Talk PH FB page, Facebook page and YouTube channel. So if you're watching us right now, pre-recorded yung video but this is the first episode of the weekly Geek Talk PH shows. No? So mapansin nyo, during this week, you'll be watching different groups in the Geek Talk PH um, family na meron kami sarili-sariling shows. And we we will always come out with a video kami, kami tatlo, uh, every Monday because, syempre, every week, you start your week with a cup of geek. <laughs> so, ganun yung tagline, ba? Ayos. So, every Mondays, we upload uh, our, our pre-recorded videos for for this epi- for our episodes, no? Uh, under Geek Talk PH and we will upload it mga around 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. So hopefully this start of the the Geek Talk PH videos you support us you watch the videos daily siguro hindi naman magtatagal yung videos eh, ng mga more than an hour so hopefully you will support us there um comment as well make sure to leave a comment sa lahat ng videos especially sa mga discussions that we will uh syempre partake no dito sa ating uh, weekly show so yeah, so hopefully you can support us as well there. But before we go into our discussion, syempre, hindi pwede magsimula without introducing ang mga uh, mati puno at mga gwapong kasama ko dito sa podcast na ito. No? So let me start off with the man on the left side, si Sir Noah. Si Sir talaga, si Noah, si Geeky Pinoy. Hey yo, what's up? Geeky Pinoy here. Yeah, Noah de Busada. So... Uh, you can catch me on TikTok, on YouTube, here, of course, in the Cup of Geek, and also on Instagram and a bit of Twitter. So, yeah, we do reviews. Uh, we do reviews as well of your favorite comic book characters, stories, and some everything under the sun. And again, yes, uh, we are right now in the Geek Talk PH page. Like and, of course, interact with all of the Geek Talk PH creators We'll make sure that every show will be entertaining and fun for everyone. So, thank you so much. If you're watching this, astig Hello, everybody. It is Blake Salcedo, a.k.a. Aquablake. You can always find me on TikTok, Facebook, IG, and, of course, the Cup of Geek podcast, which is on YouTube, Spotify, Apple Podcasts. Apple Podcasts, right? Apple Sp- Music. <laughs> Apple Podcasts. <laughs> Apple Podcasts, yep. Yeah. Still getting hang of that. Anyways, guys, welcome to the first episode in a series of more episodes that we're going to be showing and featuring on the Geek Talk PH group. Probably one of the best group of content creators in the Philippines right now. So be sure to like, follow, subscribe every single one of us and continue to support us, guys, because we're going to give you the best there is. And of course, before we start this next video, of course, we got to bring it all around back to the man, the knight of fun himself. <laughs> Ray. Hey, 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 oh, hi. So I am Ray and I'm your knight of fun. And syempre, no, you can also find me on TikTok. I do a lot of comic book. And right now, I'm also doing a lot more movie content, movie review content. So since the start of 2023, review videos that you can see on my page. Ko. So I'm doing that. And yeah, and on Instagram and on Facebook, and syempre, I'll I'm the I'm one of the boys dito sa Cup of Geek podcast. And for this show, no, for this daily show every Monday, you can catch us here. Our topics will be mainly comic book shows, comic book films, comic book discussions, and even Star Wars and anything um, medyo whatever that will ano what that will ring our ano ring our bells <laughs> when it comes to ano uh, to, when we when we talk about geek. So uh, so because yeah, we want to start the week off uh, just talking about the things that we love though everything geek everything that that we would want to ano to partake with you and share with you no so since this is the start of our season or of our episodes in the Geek Talk PH podcast this 2023 syempre bago natin simulan and go to the shows that we are looking forward to uh, that we will be discussing in this podcast Let's go and take a look back or a, a recap of what happened last year. So 2022 is done and there were a lot of comic book shows na lumabas. Maraming um, comic book 
uh, films and series na lumabas last year that we enjoyed sa cinema, sa streaming, sa mga bahay natin, sa mga laptop natin, sa mga mobile devices natin that we enjoyed watching last year. So, in this episode, in this pilot episode under the Geek Talk PH page, we will talk about our top shows, films, series that are comic book related for 2022. So, mapa DC man yan, mapa Marvel man yan, and or independent. Pwede rin natin sabihin mga uh, manhwa, webtoons, manga that were turned into live action. But we will, siguro ang limitation lang natin, the, the only... Um, area that, that we will not discuss will be anime, so that will be a different kumbaga, mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. La- or different community that we that uh, that we will not uh, cover. So live action, uh, probably animated films, but DC Marvel we will include that in this umbrella. Yeah. But basically, shows that came out last year. So before we go into the mechanics, how are you guys feeling about this episode? Are you excited? Kumusta rin ba ang, ang naging 2022 for you in terms of the comic book scene? I think yung comic book scene is ano eh, uh, flourishing. Actually, uh, for majority, it's a... Uh, it's, uh, sabi nga nila, sure ball to eh. Pag ito. Pero sure ball din na flop ka pag mali na lang ginawa mo. <laughs> so there, yes, there are a lot of comic book movies, shows this year. But there are a lot as well that wasn't able to get to that certain level na talaga masasabi mo na it's good or it's it definitely uh, made a mark. Pero yun nga, again, it's uh, something that hopefully uh, continuously na maging source material ang comic book, ang mga, ang mga manga, ang mga manhwa. Because uh, sabi nga eh, susundin mo na lang eh. You already have the blueprint. All you need to do is just to build the house. But uh, you need to build it correctly according from the blueprint. So it's still the same way with comic books. So I'm still, I'm so excited discussing this and excited for the years to come. So you Yeah, I really like that oh, metaphor. Whoa. You have the blueprint, just need to build the house. Because if you don't build the house correctly, it will, f- f- it will all fall down on you. <laughs> agree, <Diba>? agree. I come late, come late. Well, from all the splurge of comic book movies, shows, and basically anything related to comic books nowadays, it's going to be a pretty big list. So, ta-da, let's get into it. Let's get Ray, it on. What are the... <laughs> let's get it on. So, before we, before, before we go and, and talk about these uh, shows and movies... Uh, of mechanics muna, how we will do this, uh, no, this top list, no? So... If you watch our episode dun sa main page namin, the Cup of Geek podcast, we did a top 10 MCU Phase 4 material or shows or ano, or or films. So we will follow that same format. We will do a drafting first. So we will, each one of us will select our top 4 shows or films that were released in 2022 that are comic book related. And then after after we draft the top 4, so tig apat na kami niyan, we will now decide what will be our top 10. So the top 10 now will be labeled as the Cup of Geek Podcast Top 10 Comic Book Shows of 2022. So dapat we are in agreement. Dapat mag-debate kami kung sino talaga yung number 1. Hindi pwedeng may isa sa amin na hindi pwede. Dapat itong movie na to yung number 1. Kailangan lahat kami. La- kami Pero tatlo. Pag napili na, hindi na pwedeng piliin ng isa, di ba? <laughs> Correct. Oh, pag nag-draft tayo, di, di pwedeng ano. Di pwedeng. Para, para medyo Sana, may, ano, may intrigue. <laughs> Okay, so we, we we already rolled the dice earlier, no? So pre-recorded naman siya. So na napili na sa amin tatlo kung sino mauna sa draft, sino kasunod and then and so on. So there will be four rounds at so first round ang magsisimula niyan ay si Blake. Blake will start off the 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 draft and then ang next pick, sec, second pick of the first round is Noah and syempre ang pinaka swerte <laughs> Ako. <laughs> uh, last pick of the first round and then uh, sa second <laughs> round Noah will start the first pick. I will I will do the the second pick and then Blake will do the last pick. The third round ako magsa start, then Blake, then Noah and then sa fa- fourth and final pick, we'll go back to Blake, Noah and then me. So, is everybody excited to do this? Alam ko excited na kayo. So, let's go. 
The link. Turn it off. Turn it off. <laughs> For my first selection, <laughs> get out of the way. And so that no one steals this, <laughs> this is mine. I'm going to go with <laughs> The Boys, season three. We are mm, yes. diabolical. <laughs> <laughs> Season three, the boys. Season three. Some of you probably didn't want a season three. We don't care. It's a good <laughs> show. <laughs> Violence, gory. It's well diabolical, as Billy Butcher would say. I mean, you aside from the fact that it's really good, dark, gritty comic book adaptation show. You got amazing performances by Carl Urban as Billy Butcher. Anthony Starr always knocking it off the park as the egotistical, maniacal maniac, <laughs> also known as the Homelander. Wow. You got, and of course, the standout of season three, Jensen Eccles. Just like stripping away his image of being Dean Winchester, all that, <laughs> nothing. No more Dean, no more Jason Todd Red Hood. This is Soldier Boy, front and center, and this is probably one of his best performances to date. Probably. His third best performance following Dean Winchester and, of course, Jason Todd Red Hood. And honestly, his performance just steals the show every single set scene. Mm -hmm. And you got to admit, and you have to always remember, in every season of The Boys, there's always going to be some commentary <laughs> and supply humor regarding any social political commentaries and especially the landscape of superhero media and comic book movies, specifically with Marvel and dc and of course the boys will keep keeps on bringing it back and they even they even do a little nice meta joke that kind of references another mcu movie <laughs> that came out last 2020 <laughs> really surprisingly oh, coincidentally. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but more on, more on that later if you guys know mm. you know <laughs> yeah that is definitely my first pick of this draft. I was thinking, is that the Ant Man related scene? <laughs> oh, no, no, oh, no, that's different. <laughs> it is that, it is that. And I, I was talking about, and, um, I was talking about the um, yeah, to Charlie Theron. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I was all like, right. oh, look, she's here out of nowhere. <laughs> In the Marvel movie. But then yeah, I remember the Ant Man thing. That I'm just like, right? Yeah, the ba. It's it's what it's it's a scene that that not every comic book film or show can do. <laughs> yeah. But really, oh. it's just really uh, I agree. <laughs> disgusting. Uh, anyway, uh, but but one of the best things as well for from uh, no, from the boys is probably the one of the best superhero fight scenes that I've seen so far. No, so it's just mm. three of them: Billy mm. Butcher, Homelander, and Soldier Boy, fighting it off after a a party, <laughs> and just yeah. just really, really good to watch. Uh, that 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 uh, no, that scene bit, between the three of them. So sobrang ano, sobrang nag enjoy ako sa sa series na ito rin. So I'm looking forward to season four. And and syempre, there is a spin off then, de ba? Of of the uh, no, yeah, of the boys, so so yeah. There's Aww. we can't, can't we 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 are excited for more the boys. I uh, know uh, mat material that will that will be coming out uh, soon. And okay. it's shown in Prime, right? Yes, it's it's in, it's in Prime Video. So if you want to watch it, for those uh, who season, haven't seen it, watch season, it on Prime. Season one is uh, season one two three is at Prime Video. Mm. All right, let's go to the second pick of our first round, Noah. All right. For my second pick, alam niyo naman, ayoko, sabi ko nga, ayoko nga yung nahihirapan pag ginagawa natin to. <laughs> so, I'll be picking Neil Gaiman's The Sandman. Again, Neil Gaiman, ha, hindi yung Sandman sa <laughs> Spider-Man, okay guys? Don't ask me that question if that's The Sandman, <laughs> the villain from, ano, okay? If he'll be given a chance to have his own series, why not? But uh, what I'm referring to is The Sandman by Neil Gaiman. <laughs> So, if you haven't seen it, I don't know where you're from. Uh, were you uh, in a portal or in another dimension? But it's one of the best, I can say, one of the best adaptation of a comic to a live action. It's a, uh, it's indescribable. 
<laughs> watch it. And uh, for sure, you'll get hooked. I, actually, I do have friends who are not even fans of comics, who are not even fans of books or even Neil Gaiman. But when they saw it, they were doing they, status they got on hooked. Facebook <laughs> about it. <laughs> and me and my wife, we watched it like 5 in the afternoon. And uh, we didn't realize it's already 2 in the morning. <laughs> okay. so, no more dinner. Only uh, gore. <laughs> Uh, and <laughs> all of the all of the above as far <laughs> so as far as with the story I won't I won't um, spoil you much about it so it's just about uh, dream or Morbius tama no Morbius mm. Morpheus so it's just Morpheus Morpheus iba iba si Morpheus wag wag si Morpheus that's not even in our top 10 MCU or that MCU eh. <laughs> Oh, sorry, oh, sorry, oh, Neil. Hindi pala, hindi pala uh, I know we did earlier. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> Ayun, so it's, it's about him and Morpheus. about uh, what happened to him and then uh, uh, what he encountered. So it's a different dimension actually. No? Sobrang kakaiba niya. Uh, it's very, hindi naman sobrang original from other fantasy or fiction na uh, uh, mga books. But the way it was... Uh, put into screen since Neil Gaiman is hands-on sabi nga yeah. nila which I think everybody should learn from it make sure that the creators or the writers are hands-on to it so talagang mag work if you'll be working hand-in-hand hand with uh, you know the creator so tulad ni Ray pag yung Trinity nagkaroon na ng comics make sure to <laughs> pag nagkaroon ng ano have Ray hands-on on the adaptation para nagkaroon Mga ng ganun. drama sa ano GMA or ano kapamilya <laughs> GMA <laughs> ano? <laughs> kapuso na yan <laughs> so yun sa akin the Sandman for my topic so, just also comment on the Sandman no? so I was given the chance thank you Netflix as well no? for for letting me in a uh, advanced screener access so walang event but I was given access to to the first two episodes uh ng Netflix. So, and I watched it I, Netflix was about to come out on a Friday and I watched it on a Wednesday. F- first two episodes pa lang and sabi ko, naman Netflix nang bitin ka pa eh. <laughs> So, and I, I was really and excited for uh, no for to watch the, the full se- the full season uh after that one. So, buti lang days mm-hmm. lang yung ano yung yung pagitan hindi ano hindi a few months. And then syempre no feeling ko the script writers wala masyadong ginawang trabaho guys mm-hmm. you know why because while watching it hawak ko yung sandman na comic i was i'm following the so, ano the dialogue and they're just trying to panel. ano actually yung andaming <laughs> anday, andaming dialogue that they just took from the comic so it's really a faithful ano faithful okay. interpretation of the of the comic so it's it was really fun to watch yung sandman okay now, let's go to the third pick of this round. So, sa, syempre ako na, no? And let me get this out of the way because I know you guys also like this movie. So, I'll, I'll pick a movie this time. And it's, syempre, DC pa rin, The Batman. Okay, so Matt Reeves, The Batman came out this year. Nung 2022. Hindi <laughs> 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 No, not. <laughs> yeah, pero <laughs> Matt, <laughs> pero Matt Reeves, the Batman came the out vampire. March 2022 and tama, March 2022. Um, mm. <coughs> it's memorable, a, a memorable Batman film. We got a, 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 li, a little more detective in the bat in this Batman movie. Although I'm still debating in my head what is the better de- Batman film. It, would it be the Dark Knight or would it be this Batman version? And I've not decided yet. <laughs> uh, let me just make up a, a TikTok video about it, and let's talk about it on a separate uh, separate episode. <laughs> yes, right. But but yes, the this Batman is was just really created, really good. Robert Pattinson, nabura na sa isip ko that he's a sparkling vampire. <laughs> Basically, then he's now he's now this generation's Batman. So that one I really like the screenplay and cinematography for this one and i really there are there are a lot of memorable scenes diba? so number one sa, sa memorable scenes ko the introduction of the batmobile ikaw ba naman sino bang matatakot doon diba na parang as as the batmobile slowly revs up the para there's that excitement let's go para napapa let's go one of the film and then there's that scene where batman is fighting the the goons in the dark 
nakikita mo lang sila when the goons are start start shooting so ilaw nung ano nung nung flash ng mga barrel tsaka mo lang siya makikita and then syempre yung last scene where yung hawak ng hawak tip ng si Batman ba may hawak ng basta they were walking uh, across si the fl- the flood and then Batman was holding the flare and then that scene mismo was just nakakatindig balahibo so i really had fun watching that film so that's i uh, in my uh that's my first pick for for the first round okay now let's go no, it's really why it's really good it's one of the dc films na hindi gagalawin <laughs> oh nga <laughs> ni james gunn yes definitely oh. So and definitely it's sabi nga, it's here to stay. Matt Reeves <laughs> is already in production for the Penguin mm-hmm. spin-off and um ang sabi nila I heard from the news that the story will uh happen kumbaga it will kumbaga be situated to a weeks after the ano, the movie. So masyadong malapit mm-hmm. lang yung ano yung timeline. So I can't wait for that as well yung Penguin spin-off. Nice nice. Yeah, so let's now proceed right. with our second round. So second round pick, let's start with Noah. <laughs> All right. So balik tayo sa HBO and since nag DC naman si uh, si Ray, gaya-gaya kasi ako. <laughs> so I go with uh, John Cena, You Can See Me, The Peacemaker. So I think kung hindi nyo pa yun na pinanood, ewan ko, bakit ba hindi nyo yung pinapanood? Ewan ko sa inyo. Kita yung friends pag hindi kayo nanood nun. Kita yung peace. <laughs> so, oh yeah, it's ano, it's, uh, actually for those who are not familiar Peacemaker, definitely I would understand because Peacemaker is not one of the most popular characters in DC. Which I think everybody would agree. But James Gunn, The Suicide Squad 2, made its name You know, it's Mark, talagang. And John Cena, though, though minsan na uh, nag-aalangan ako sa mga acting niya sa mga previous movies niya, <laughs> but this one, it's really for him. Yeah. I think he, he he put something into it. Kasi hindi naman ganun yung character ni John Cena nakita natin sa WWE, di ba? <laughs> Pero sobrang galing, galing. This is one of the masterpiece of James Gunn. And even HBO agrees na it's one of the best series that they had. I think even uh, one of the best they had after Sopranos pa in Game of Thrones. So, ganong level. So, I think it deserves to have its season 2. It deserves to stay. I'm <laughs> not sure. Controversial. Why controversial yan? <laughs> Oo, oh, kasi alam mo naman, gawa ni James ganyan. And, so, uh, it's like and, eating your babies. <laughs> and, and I feel like he made a mistake by having that cameo in the end. Because mm-hmm. if he did diba? not, he, they could have retained the, ano, the series. I don't know. Let's well, see. Tingnan natin. Hindi nila, hindi naman akalain na magkakaganito. Eh, diba? oh, ma. well, again, guys, I think... Th- Uh, I'm excited. Hindi lang natuloy yung sabi ng uh, dapat ngayon yung ano yung announcement ng mga movies ng DC. But if you haven't seen Peacemaker, it's on HBO. Uh, it's just I think 10, 10 episodes, 12, I'm not sure. Pero all of the episodes are hilarious. Sobrang nakakatawa. Sobrang ganda rin ng acting. Though yun nga, it's there are a lot of things that you would know you'd really laugh about on that <laughs> series. So that's my top two. If you're if you if you're not a fan of the opening sequence pa lang. <laughs> oh, 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 diba? The dance number. The dance number. <laughs> the dance number. Even my wife sabi, ano yan? Ano yan? Ano yung gawa nila? Sabi ko nga, ang hirap kayang umacting ng awkward dance. Sobrang hirap kaya nyan. <laughs> Lalo na kung marunong ka sumayaw, ang hirap ang hirap umacting ng hindi marunong Marino sumayaw. sumayaw. Kung marunong ka sumayaw. <laughs> diba parang ganun? So it's really funny how James Gunn, you know, yung command ni James Gunn na pagawa sa kanila yun. Hindi <laughs> <laughs> ko alam. Ano meron ka James Gunn na, okay, I'll do it. <laughs> Ayan. So, Peacemaker, top two. In my uh, right. So that first pick, so second round, I'll do the second pick of the second round. And syempre, let's put... Nag, 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 ano na tayo, nag-independent ng DC na tayo. So, let's put a Marvel film dito sa list natin. So, I'm picking Black Panther Wakanda Forever. So, syempre, it's a really great tribute to the to the character and syempre, a great tribute to to Chadwick Boseman. Um, I'm sure 
the viewers, yung manonood sa atin right now, the listeners who are listening right now, if you've not watched, if you've watched this already, I'm sure you've shed a tear uh, during this movie. And syempre, if hindi pa napapanood, um, it's gonna be out sa Disney Plus on February 1, tama ba? So, you mm, better watch it one. because it is worth yeah. the, no, it is worth watching. Um, worth the tears. <laughs> worth the tears. Sa, sim- <laughs> sa simula, nung watching it the first time, uh, medyo hindi ko pa masyadong accept that si, spoiler alert, si Shuri, uh, magiging Black Panther. But as, as the time goes by, para na-realize ko, um, yeah, she, I think she deserves it. And this movie um, actually gave it, ano, gave her the, the, the spotlight of what being a Black Panther really is. And then we got a, we got great performances from, ano, from Teno Huerta who plays Namor. Um, mm-hmm. um, who, sino nga to? Who played the mother of, ano, of, of uh, Shuri. Angela uh, Bassett. Yeah, Angela Bassett. So, sobrang yeah. ganda ng performance yeah. nila. So, it's a really good film. And definitely, you have to watch it. But one of the best for, ano, for, for Marvel. Yeah. So, and the last pick. In and this, this round. is, no, oh, sorry. Uh, this is one of the, no, this is one of the good second installment that I've mm. seen. Because mostly second installment are really, you know, madalas yeah. edgy, yeah. madalas nada, you know, <laughs> dun sila nasisira. But uh, Ryan Coogler, and it's the same director. Mm. Kaya siguro ano nagwork talaga. And and ano, and re- rewrites din yan, ba? Kasi they were already doing mm-hmm. it or they were already they already had the script when Chadwick was still alive and then nung yeah. syempre RIP Chadwick they had to ano, to to rewrite it for the for this sequel. Okay, so now let's go to the last pick of the second round. Let's go Blake. All right, I am my pick. I'm picking this because you got my Batman, Ray. <laughs> I'm getting, I'm getting something from yours. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> technically, technically um, this this next thing I'm going to be choosing technically is based on a comic book per se, and has had its adaptation in a TV show format through Netflix recently mm. last year. But last year, it was in its season two because season one came about a few years earlier. This, of course, I'm talking about the international hit that deserved as much love as Squid Game, yes. Alice in Borderland. Let's go! <laughs> Borderland. I mean, again, I just said, like I said, it deserved as much praise as Squid Game, Battle for Survival, and different types of games. You got ensemble cast that everyone just loves and you know obviously if you go on TikTok or anywhere online right now there is no way that you cannot be seeing anyone posting about their favorite characters from the show plus the way that they shoot every scene of every episode is just so cinematic it feels always like there's a high budget for everything (laughs) every single frame and every single shot nothing feels cheap and it's just amazing it is total mind (laughs) whenever well you know when the ending comes but you know spoilers because you know it's still pretty fresh so i'm not gonna spoil that here (laughs) but yeah it is a definite must watch for anybody who loves well basically a proper manga adaptation and this definitely deserves to be in the top spot but one of the best live action adaptations of a manga to date so go watch it as soon as possible if you haven't watched it what is wrong with you now if you're not, <laughs> if, if you're not in love with usagi or Quina or anna yet i don't know or if or for for those who are also interested in arisu or chisia i don't know <laughs> or the king of ano <laughs> the king of clubs <laughs> <laughs> if you're not in love with the king of clubs i don't know <laughs> you can you can find him you can actually find him in the philippines just go to up <laughs> yes <laughs> a greetier version <laughs> just there, guys. it's just standing right there at i know yeah. at up <laughs> no but i you know what i'm gonna do Maybe in one convention, I will just go as him. Ah, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I don't know how I'm gonna do that, but I'm gonna do it. It's 
go, go to a cosplay convention with ano with his character, diba? You will be recognizable. <laughs> at, but and then again, the guards might be able to ano take you out first before the fans uh, do. <laughs> true, unless if if they're brave enough. If they're brave enough. <laughs> if like, it's just, he's not wearing anything. How do you get him out? <laughs> okay, so that's the, the second round. So we already have our top six uh, for our list later for the top 10. But let us go to the third round. So, Shempre, I'll start it off. And we still go, we still retain the Netflix hype. And because this series also is also coming to an end in the with with the with its final season coming soon, but season three came out in 2022, and syempre, we got a lot of kumaga character development. We got a a a, a really I know a really 360 turn in one of the characters, right? Diba? So I'm talking about the Umbrella Academy season three that came out last year. So. In this season, no? so basically they already saved the world two times, season one, season two. And then in season three, they need to save it again. And that's because there's a lot of changes in the in the timelines. But in this time, they're not just going to save it. They're also faced with a different family or what we call the Sparrow Academy. And they find out that they're no longer the... the there's no Umbrella Academy in this in this world but there's a sparrow academy and there's a new set of siblings a new set of superheroes uh with superpowers that they need to face before they can save the world so sobrang interesting the transition of ano uh, of victor hargreaves if so if you know see elliot page uh that shepherd it's it's a it's a uh, big family hug na, that we accepted uh the transition of elliot page it's a character din as victor hargreaves and uh, actually, maganda rin yung pagkakatake nila story how the series took it in, di ba? So, so I really like that that series for uh, na, na Umbrella Academy and hopefully it will close out the the ano, the whole story. And syempre, no, if you don't know yet and you've not watched this, kung kilala niyo yung lead vocalist ng, ano, ng My Chemical Romance, si Gerard Way, he's the original mm-hmm. author of the... Ano, of the Umbrella Academy. So if you're a big fan of Gerard Way, try to watch this. It's it's really worth your enough worth your time. Can. And if you're not a fan of Gerard Way, what is wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Black Parade. <laughs> All right, Sige, Blake. <laughs> your pick. My pick. Okay, this one now we're going from Netflix. Now I'm gonna bring it home back to DC because I know I noticed mm. I think probably they don't have a DC selection yet. Um, this one I'm I'm still pretty salty and sour because <laughs> it got canceled and it was a really really good show. Um, awesome. My pick, uh, my next pick is Star Girl season three. Now I know what you're thinking. <laughs> really, Star Girl a CW show? Here's the thing, guys. It wasn't originally a CW superhero show, so of course the quality mm. is very different. And because it started off uh, DC Universe Online streaming service, and then it transitioned to HBO Max, and then it just basically went to CW. But of course, with that, they still kind of tried to retain most of the quality that was found in the first season, which was in its you know prime in DC Universe streaming service. Now, with that being said, um, season three, as much as it is a bittersweet finale to the entire series because it got canceled for some reason, CW, why? <laughs> Anyways, um, it is a really fun show. It's really heartwarming. The cast of characters, you will definitely love and relate to them. They have their own personal stories that doesn't feel too much like melodramatic or unnecessary they all go through their own character growth in a very natural way um character redemption arc and the probably the biggest highlight for me in the star girl series as a whole is the way they like choreograph and shoot and edit their fight sequences probably for me star girl has the best choreographed and visually stunning fight sequences for any dc comics live action tv series 
If you're going to compare it to something like Arrow, Arrow has nothing in comparison <laughs> to Stargirl's fight sequences. Point of reference, the cafeteria fight scene between the JSA and the ISA in Season 2 of Stargirl. Compare that to any other fight sequence of any CW show, then come <laughs> back to me. That's my pick, Stargirl Season 3. Go watch it or not, just that it never ends. Yeah. Give us a revival. Yes. <laughs> where can where can where can they watch it right now? Is it available in? I any think it's in platform? HBO Go. Yeah, HBO. HBO. You can watch oh, it in HBO yeah. Go. I think all the DC franchises are in HBO Go, even the CW ones. Hmm. For now. Uh, okay. For now. For now. <laughs> For now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so our for our third pick for the third round, Noah, what's your pick? Ayun. So I already had an eh, dalawang DC na. So <laughs> putamo na tayo kaya no. Kay, magtampo sa si Marvel. Tito Kevin Faggy. <laughs> oh, magtampo sa si Tito Kevin and si si Lola Stan. <laughs> so <laughs> so for me, I actually uh, it's not just my favorite series or one of my favorite series for Marvel but uh personally is one of my favorite Marvel characters talaga I think we already we even had a discussion of this one from one of your uh shows before yeah, right mm-hmm. we did so a comic review ano, of the uh, Jeff comic Lemire review mm-hmm. of Moon Knight so I think Moon Knight is sobra siyang kakaiba Especially if you don't know Moon Knight. Kunyari, sabi natin, MCU fan ka, you don't read comics, and you see Moon Knight, you will really be... It's like riding a roller coaster with your uh, <laughs> eyes closed. <laughs> so, you don't know what will happen. It's just You just feel that it's totally a different MCU series or show. And uh, by the way, it's it will gonna it's uh, it will be having its uh, second season. Di ko alam alam kung anong phase, on phase five or phase six mo ang planchado na kasi yung phase mm-hmm. five. Pero for sure, it will have its uh, first uh, second season. And ito yung series na yun nga sabi nga wala masyadong connectivity with the wider or bigger MCU, so we don't know how they're gonna connect. Uh, Moon Knight to the other MCU characters, but for sure, there's multiverse that they can exploit. <laughs> <laughs> they can always use the multiverse to connect everything. So, dahil nga yun nga yung reklamo ng iba, ewan ko ba't na nare-reklamo yun. <laughs> Wala man lang daw reference from the other MCU characters, other MCU shows. Sabi ko, okay, well, hindi ba pwedeng may origin muna tayo? Mag-origin lang tayo. Then, Wow, those can be connected by the bigger movies, the bigger shows. Uh, so, sabi, but uh, it's really good. It's really good. And it's on Disney+. Plus. If you haven't seen it, you don't need to wait for every week to watch each episode because lahat nandun na. So for me, yeah, Moon Knight by Oscar Isaac. Nice. So we now have nine films and shows in our list. Let's now go to the last round of this draft mm. segment. And we go back to Blake. Blake, what's your last pick? Okay. All right. Following the Marvel trend that we got going on. <laughs> I thought you were going to do something hard. with your hands. Eh? <laughs> so <laughs> so a lot of these things. Um, so there's only two other options for Marvel this year for me. Uh, I'm, I'm going to have to respectfully <laughs> go with, you better go with the right Dr. Strange. Okay. <laughs> the multiverse. Yeah. Yes, you have a thing to either that or uh, Thor, Love and Thunder or She Hulk. <laughs> <laughs> I remember your video last time, Blake, with uh, Doctor Strange. <laughs> you did something. So just, guys, look for that video of Blake. 
<laughs> it's a hilarious one of his encounter with Doctor Strange. I don't know where right, sin, okay, what okay. cinema was that. <laughs> yeah. It's in Rockwell. It's Rockwell. Eh. Uh, power plant cinema. Mm. You guys, okay. For the Filipino fans out there, if you still want to be in the presence of the holy statue of <laughs> Sir Doctor Stephen Strange that has been immortalized <laughs> through Facebook, mostly Facebook. <laughs> You may find them in the power plant cinema in Rockwell. The church yes. of the church of the power plant nice cinema. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you may find him there through the church of power plant. <laughs> but yeah. Um yeah, going back to Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. Um yeah. Was expecting more. Was expecting for it to be a little bit darker, a little bit more horror centric instead of um, Easter egg cameos and multiverse stuff. Um, I, I still find it enjoyable um, until now. Um, of course, Sam Raimi is in the helm of direction. He does a really uh, great blend of light superhero comic book action. Of course, he's mm -hmm. the Spider Man trilogy, and of course here. He was able to showcase more of his horror roots, especially when um, Wanda is on scene. So it's really, I'd say it's a pretty enjoyable flick until now with a good mix of both campy comic book fun at the same time, cheesy horror flick. Um, is this grooviness feels? <laughs> I say group because you know Ash is in the Ash is in the movie, you know Bruce Campbell. So yeah, um, of course, great performances from Benedict Cumberbatch, Elizabeth Olsen, and um, Chotil Gomez. I hope I pronounced that right. So chill. Um, so, so chill. So chill. She's so chill. I mean that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> Top of play there. Okay. So yeah, um, honestly, as much as it may have been better, it is still a pretty good watch either way. It has more rewatch value than Thor Love and Thunder, so there's that to consider. So, yeah. Nice. I'm sorry, Taika, but... <laughs> no, not, not this year, well, Taika. Nope. Sorry. Not this year, no. <laughs> no, no, no. We can't all be Jojo Rabbit. We, we, can't, we, can't, we can't be all Ravagers, uh, Ravager tours right now. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's let's go with our I uh, know with our second pick of the last round, Noah. So yeah, second pick I'll go with uh, an animation. So this is a move animated movie that I saw, which I don't think hindi, I think hindi siya pinalabas sa ane sa Philippines uh, sa cinemas, but it was shown mm. in the US and it was shown. I'm not sure if it's already available in HBO. It is uh, DC's Super Sons. A... So for those who don't know Super Sons, Super Sons is a story of... Actually, ang, medyo high, ang highlight niya talaga is Jonathan Kent. Or John Kent. John Kent. So uh, again, it's cartoons, it's animation. And uh, talaga, we know DC is, as far as animation is concerned, they're really uh, way ahead from Marvel. Though, nagkaroon ng... Uh, Miles Morales into the Spider Verse. Nagkaroon ng What If. Akala ko makakahabol na sila as far as animation, as far as the art. Pero nung napanood ko tong ano Super Sons, bang sabi ko na ko lumayo na naman sila. Ganda. <laughs> sobrang ganda ng uh, animation. Sobrang ganda ng dubbing and even um, the story itself. It's like parang kinuha directly from the comics. So. Ang ganda niya. And of course, the main antagonist is one of my favorite antagonists ng DC, which is Starro. So, oh, kailan, okay. of course, kilala niya mm -hmm. si Starro from the Suicide That's Squad movie. 2. Yep. Siya ulit. Siya ulit yung talaga nagbigay na naman ng problema dito. But it's a really good, uh, really good movie. And even my kids, even my wife enjoyed it. Talagang isang kupuan lang pinanood namin siya. Then they were curious of other DC animated shows kasi ganun siya kaganda and hopefully you you'll see it okay. uh, uh, in HBO it's really really good yeah. super sense 
Yeah. Naisip ko nga, um, the, syempre, we have to give credit the the DC Animated Universe is just really good versus the ano, the live action film. Pero gusto ko lang matanong, Noah, si Starro ba became Robin dyan sa, ano, sa Super Sons? <laughs> became Robin. <laughs> Because in the comics, he did kasi. Uh, so... <laughs> dito, spoiler naman to. Huh? We're good with spoilers. Hindi naman. Uh, hindi naman. Okay, Pero, okay, okay. Uh, <laughs> ang ano, ang naging ang tinake over ni Starro dito is the parents eh. Oh. Si Superman, si Batman, okay. lahat ng okay. Justice. Okay, so, na naka-rap sa mukha nila si. Uh, ano. Tapos silang dalawa yung oh my god, what are we gonna do okay. with our dads? Okay. That's interesting. <laughs> so, That's interesting. Galing, ang ganda, ang ganda. Eh. Okay, that's my last pick. Last pick is uh Super Sons for Noah. At syempre, Ako na ang pinakamahirap na ano na last pick no. And syem- and I mentioned DC, Marvel and ano and an independent story Netflix naman dito. So I'll go back to Disney. But this is not a a Disney or a Marvel ano um IP. Um this is based on a webtoon. So and it's a Korean webtoon. So I'm now I'm not going into K-drama ano territory. <laughs> And I'm referring to, yeah, I'm referring to the series in Disney Plus, uh, which is called Connect. It C O N N E C T Connect. So basically, the premise of the story is this one. So there's a character that he has this ability to heal himself. Kaya niyang, uh, actually, di siya di siya mamatay kaagad. If you slice off any part of his body, it will grow back, or he kukunin niya yung part ng body niya, and then, and then it will just reconnect with with his body. Um, he gets kidnapped and then do, do sa kidnapping niya ninakawan siya ng eyeball kasi in this story there's a trade of ano of uh, there's a illegal trade of of body parts so yung eyeball niya was then transplanted into another person and ang nangyari dito is since na transplant yung mata niya and he still has that connection with his eye he can now see mm-hmm. what that other person is 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 doing is oh. whatever that other person is seeing so, sobra interesting yung concept but in this story there's also a serial killer and that serial killer ser- serial killer ang ginagawa niya and sobra as- serial killer siya pag naastigan ako sa ano niya sa sa craft niya he kidnaps people forms them mm-hmm. into statues, into living statues, and then displays them on public hanggang sa mamatay yung, yung victim. And then, syempre, it looks mm-hmm. like a piece of art. I'm not sure, para siyang ano, if you watch the anime Psycho Pass, meron siyang ganung, ganung feel. Pero yung, oh. yung serial killer is is doing that. He makes art out of the bodies of his, ano, of his victims. So, whatever his connection mm-hmm. to our main character dito sa Connect is, You have to find out. You have to see it. It's on Disney Plus. Sobrang interesting nun. It's a short series. Mga six, six, six episodes lang ata. But it's really, ano, fun to watch. Ang ganda ng cinematography. It's very eerie. Um, it's very dramatic. Sobrang, ano, sobrang interesting lang talaga nung ano, no story niya. So, my last pick for for the top comic book shows is Connect. So, you can watch it on Disney Plus. Disney Plus yan, no? Yes. Sige, sige. Yeah, so marami, marami Ay. tayong mabubudol tonight. <laughs> Pwede. Okay. Pwede. So, pag umaga, pag umaga ko siya panonorin, baka hindi ako makatulog. <laughs> oh, eh, meron siya ano, meron siya a little bit of horror kasi the director is a Japanese director. Hmm. Horror, he does a lot of horrors ano, sa Japan. Baka so... hindi ako makapunta ng CR pag ano. <laughs> Bukas na so, lang pag maliwanag na. Yeah. Kasi ako sa anak ko sa CR. <laughs> Okay, so now we we now try to wrap this up. Meron tayong 12 uh, movies, series that we ano uh, that we enjoyed in 2022 called that are comic book based. So now we have to decide what will be our top 10. So we will run official, run this down no? our official top 10. So ano ba yung official the Cup mm-hmm. of Geek top 10 comic book shows and films that were released in 2022. And, syempre, we'll count it down. Simula natin sa top 10, and then we'll go to top 1. Um, we'll mm-hmm. go, mag-volunteer mag- tayo ng isang film sa top sa ranking na yun, and then we will agree uh, if we, ano, if we like that that ano, that placement for that film. And then yes, afterwards, okay. kung, kung meron tayong disagreement on some of the placement, 
we can calibrate or we can adjust some of the few ano of the some of the few placings naman pag okay pumayag, no? oh, pag pumayag pag pag halimbawa nilagay mo si ano si Thor Love and Thunder sa number one syempre hindi ako papayag doon uh-huh. <laughs> pero wala si uh-huh. Thor Love and Thunder sa top 12 natin <laughs> so let's not put that there <laughs> okay sige sorry out So let's let's do this. Uh, Blake will start off with our number 10 and then Noah and then me. Uh, and then she, para para mali ata na ako yung last kasi mukha ako yung magbibigay ng top 1 and 2. But anyway, let's do this. <laughs> let's go. Blake, what is our top 10? Start off, I'm going to have to relate it back to what I said last time, my last pick, um Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. Yep. It wasn't as good, yeah, yeah, yeah. The usual thing, what I said, but look at the bright side. They brought back Professor Xavier. They gave us a proper-looking Black Bolt. They gave they gave us the fan cast of John Krasinski <laughs> as Mr. Fantastic. In a spaghetti even form. Though, yeah, <laughs> even though they just basically, you know, killed them in like five minutes. But that's fine. That's fine. I can accept that's that. <laughs> accept that. Yeah, so that's number 10. All right. Number 10 is Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. Let's go to number 9. Muna. Noah, what's ano number 9? Number 9. Of course, you need to be with me. It's already there. What is it? Because you need to give respect to those who think you're in the top 5. Then... Still respect a bit para makapunta naman sa top 10 mo yung iba. Hmm. Sige, sige. I'll go for ano, for Moon Knight on number 9. Kasi medyo Ooh. magkasunod sila ni ano, magkasunod sila ni Doctor Strange. Though it's really good, uh, hopefully it will be better or more grittier sa season 2. Pero, sige. And we can calibrate naman if ever. <laughs> sige, sige. Let's see, let's see later. Sakin, sakin. Okay. Sige, number okay. night is... Number nine is... Number night. Number nine is... Number night. <laughs> number nine is moon night. Kasi itong night of fun, eh. <laughs> Nakakabulol, eh. Anyway. Uh, let's go to number eight. And sige. Following your your ano, your ano train of thought lang. I already have my top five in mind. Uh, it... So I just need to just rearrange uh, some of the shows siguro sa from 10 to 10 to 6. So and some of these I've not watched so I'm, just, I'm putting it sa ano sa sa 10 to 6. So I'll ano I'll volunteer Star Girl at number 8. So if you're okay with that kasi I don't think na uh, hindi hindi siya kasama sa top 5 ko eh, so I'll put that there. <laughs> okay, so agree kayo sa Star Girl at number 8? Yes. Then let's go to number seven, Blake. Number seven, number seven, seven. Hmm, number seven, number seven, number seven. I'm just gonna say this just so that it's on the list. And wow, funny enough, it's in number seven. And the show does have a group called The Seven. <laughs> <laughs> No. Just so that I can put it on, on the list all the time. <laughs> I'm recalibrating. It's of good, course, it's going to be top. Be top five. I'm putting it up here already. I'm it's putting it the boys season three. Fine. I'm locking it in place. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. I'm playing chess, people. I will recalibrate, Blake. I see you. <laughs> Okay, at number six, Noah. Number six. Hmm. For this one, ano eh. Ito yung binoodle nyo kasi sa akin eh. Binoodle nyo ako dito sa show na to. So, kailangan nasa top ten to. Kasi sinag ako, pinanood ko to for the whole Christmas break. So, the first season and the second season, pinanood ko to. Kasi pa ako naisip, kala ko pa, tanong pa ako yari, pati kay Blake, zombie ba to? Kasi baka hindi panora na wifi. Mga zombie-zombie. Hindi naman pala. Mas malala ang alam. Hindi siya all of us are dead. 
Uh, pero mas malala. <laughs> so, for me, my, my next pick will be Alice in Border. Oh, Alice in Border. Okay, sige, sige. Okay ako doon. Let's keep that there sa, sa six. Mm. Okay. Sino na nga ako na ba? At number five. At number five dahil Blake, you took the ano. Nasa top five ko yun eh. But sige, dahil number five tayo, <laughs> I'll, I'll put one that we've not yet mentioned that I think should be in the ano, top uh, six to ten. So I'll put that there, si Umbrella mm-hmm. Academy. Uh, muna, dun sa ano, sa, sa five spot natin. But I would suggest we will recalibrate this later. <laughs> <laughs> Pero <yung> principles office. <laughs> okay, at number four, Blake. Lahat. <laughs> Naglag na. <laughs> hindi pa naman. Hindi pa, hindi pa. Okay, good, good, good. <laughs> okay, na- na- nakikita ko yung hair na nag-move pa. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> my brain is the one that's flying. If you see something, well, no. since I haven't heard anyone say this yet, and hopefully just to put it on the board, but I think it should be on the number four spot or. Mm, we can change it. I'm gonna put in the Sandman. Hmm. Hmm. Blake, uh, you're stirring this up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sige. We'll recalibrate later, but this is a a good discussion to make later on. <laughs> It's it's fine it's fine Blake because Ray will be doing the top two and one so <laughs> let's make it hard for him. No, that's what <laughs> friends are for. <laughs> I suggest we recalibrate now. <laughs> no. <laughs> so I'll be doing the number three. Mm-hmm. Ah, okay. So for number three, I'll be going to another. Yes. Uh, this way, this for me, this is the best movie for Marvel from last year. So I'll go with Wakanda Forever. Okay. And uh, deserve, deserve. It may be in the top. Uh, it deserves to be in the top five, but uh, we can let's see. Let's see <laughs> if it will stay there. <laughs> All right. You gave me a hard Do the time. honors. Okay, number two. <laughs> number two is... Okay, fine. Number two is a DC project. The Peacemaker. Although, uh, actually in my list, yeah. in my list, sa uh, TikTok ko, dahil I, I got your another naman, I got your input. Sorry. In my list, in my TikTok, The Peacemaker is actually number one. Mm. And, uh, number... So, right now, I... Based on your analytic comments, I'll put it to number two. Sige. But on number one would be the Batman. Of course. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. So, mukhang this is a DC, ano, ah? DC, DC honor roll. Ah? <laughs> uh, DC uh, dominated. Do, DC top dominated. 10. Okay. Sige. Recap. What is our initial top 10? Not yet final. So, kumbaga, kung sa comelec pa yan, um, ano tawag dun? Unofficial and ano? Uh, unofficial. <laughs> uh, this is not yet official. So, number 10 is Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. Number 9 is Moon Knight. Number 8 is Star Girl. Number 7 is The Boys. Number 6 is Alice in Borderland. Number 5 is The Umbrella Academy. Number 4 is The Sandman. Number 3 is Wakanda Forever. Number 2 is The Peacemaker. And number 1 is The Batman. Okay, now let's do this. Who would want to start the recalibration? Kasi mainit na ako. Parang gusto ko. Parang gusto ko ako. Ang <laughs> okay. Let's, let's, let's. Mainit ka na sa dance floor eh. Mainit na, na ako eh. <laughs> Bakit na mag kasi number 7 yung The Boys? Okay. Here's my, ano. Here's my, here's my, Your cup of geek. my cup of geek. <laughs> okay. Why is The Boys, why, why do we need to put The Boys up 
sa at least the top five, no? Number one, mm. hindi lang siya comic book movie. It's a satire of what a comic book uh, story is. And, um, syempre, no, it's, it's, it's the acting that was just comparing it lang, no, dun sa, ano, sa 6 to 10. I think we should really put the boys sa uh, at least the top, ano ba, top 3, 4. Um, basically, top yeah, three. you have top-notch acting, you you get really pissed off kay Homelander because of that top-notch acting. The, the commentaries that they're doing, napaka, hindi, minsan in your face, minsan hindi, pero you can see it right away when when you see it. So it's it's really sending a message as well. And then it's just the, the gruesomeness, it's just also so much fun if you enjoy uh, watching some a little bit of gore. Um, there's a lit, there's a lot of things that the boys can do that other comic book shows have not done yet, and and may not and may, may not, not even do. To do correct. <laughs> so sila lang yung pending gumawa na sila nakakagawa nun. Actually, naalala ko din kasi, uh, Marvel is already planning to have their Squadron Supreme. So for those who don't know Squadron Supreme, it's like Justice League gun wrong <laughs> or gun bad and they're always comparing that it's like the boys <laughs> so the boys already made you know like the sila na yung, ano, sila na yung benchmark mm-hmm. of that kind of ano, superheroes so even marvel for sure they're under disney and they may have a hard time dealing with you know the comparison. You, you can everywhere. even compare that to Suicide Squad, diba? Not even the, the concept mm-hmm. of the movies of Suicide Squad can beat what the boys have done. No, agree, agree. Pwede. So, I put the boys sa, I'm gonna push Wakanda Forever sa 4. I'm gonna mm-hmm. put the boys sa number 3. And oh, then, si Lord, ano. Number two, pa. <laughs> number two, boya. Uh... Number two ba? Talaga? I don't think number so. Two, no, no, no. Uh... Hindi siya number two for me. Nah. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, why? Why, Blake? Why? Why not? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so how do we do this? Here's one, here's one reason why. Here's one reason why. Here's okay, one reason okay, why. okay. Um, Jensen Ackles singing. <laughs> Case closed. <laughs> I rest my case. Oh, no. It's but, a good in number uh, three, uh, Okay. Between yeah, Jensen Ackles singing versus John Cena... But naked with his helmet on. Or no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the debate right now. <laughs> if you're if you want to put that on the I mean, on rap too. <laughs> I mean boys has more naked people too. <laughs> like Huey. Well, Sabagai, Sabagai. <laughs> Go for rank na- nakedness, the boys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, okay, sige. Number two? Okay lang sa akin. I'm good with that. Number two, sige. Sige, pwede, so... Pwede, pwede. The boys at number two. Saan natin lalagay si, ano, si Peacemaker? Wakanda Forever? Or The Sandman? Wakanda Forever, nasa... Nasa four, eh. Yeah. Ano push oh, ba siya? Oh, oh. Or, so... or ganito, let's put Wakanda Forever... Sa 4. Tama, sa 4 siya. Si Peacemaker sa 3? Or sa 5? Ako sa 5. Okay. Kasi feeling ko dapat si The Sandman nasa top 3. The Sandman hmm. sa top 3? I think so. Dapat yung lahat ng may da. <laughs> lahat ng may da. <laughs> I think The Sandman uh, should be in top... Ah, uh, tama. Sa top 3. Wakanda Forever sa 4. Peacemaker sa 5. Sino ang nagalaw natin? Alice in Borderlands sa 6. Sa 7, ang nawala. So, si Umbrella Academy ba to? And then, Stargirl sa 8. 
and then Moon Knight sa 9, and then Doctor Strange sa 10. Hindi naman siguro magtatampo si Tito Kevin kung 9 and 10 siya, di ba? I think we can put, we can put Moon Knight at least above Stargirl. I'm willing to... You know what? You know what just, mm. just, just like put Stargirl... Sa 9? Yeah, 1 love below. Yeah, Alright, yeah, yeah. sige, sige. So Stargirl at 9... And then Moon Knight sa 8. Well, pwede. Mm-hmm. Ako parang ano, uh, I'll put Moon Knight further below. Ayoko, yung Umbrella Academy, feeling ko kasi there's a lot more discussion on the mental yes, state of Moon Knight kasi. Versus sa, ano, uh... sa, sa teams ni, ano, ni Umbrella Academy. And I think si Moon Knight, once it gets connected with the bigger MCU, it has a big potential as well to really open a lot of stories. Eh. Lalo na Midnight Suns na yan. Mm. With, ano, with a lot of characters. Okay. So ten. far. So far. Ito yung, ano, ito yung top 10. 10 is Doctor Strange. 9 is Stargirl. Mm-hmm. 8 is Umbrella. 7 Moon Knight. 6 is Alice. 5 is Peacemaker. 4 is Wakanda. 3 is the Sandman, 2 is the Boys, and parang di tayo nag, nag-agree na tayo na mukhang number 1 talaga natin si The Batman. Oo oh, naman. <laughs> okay. Cedric so, Diggory na yan. Any, <laughs> any final changes? Mo, and mukhang happy na ako dito. Ako, good. good. Are you, are you happy? Number 10, Doctor Strange. Number 9, okay, Stargirl. Then? Number 8, Umbrella Academy. Mm-hmm. 7 is Moon Knight. 6 is Alice in Borderland. 5 is Peacemaker. Wakanda Forever is 4. 3 is The Sandman. 2 is The Boys. 1 is The Batman. And I think we have our top 10 comic book shows, movies, and films for 2022. So that's the Cup of Geek brand. And hopefully, sa mga nanonood sa atin, sa mga uh, nakikinig sa atin, they also like the list. And if, hindi nyo, hindi nyo, hindi nyo trip yung list and there's, there's a show that you think should be in our top 10 please make sure to comment so that we can see and probably hindi pa namin napapanood and we should 10. be able to watch it watch it diba so baka hindi lang namin napanood kaya recommend it to us so that we can ano we can also watch and maybe discuss it in a future episode ayan okay so I guess we're happy about this list yan ipapakita natin yes. sa buong mundo ang listahan na to <laughs> and yeah so we are going to do this again in the future um, we're gonna have more fun then. So, syempre, this is 2022, but we have 2023 just starting, diba? So, and then there are a lot of comic book films and series that are still, I know, to be released this year. And before we end the show, tanong ko muna yung mga kasama ko sa podcast na to, what are you excited about for 2023? Let's go. Ako una, Invincible, season two. Yeah, Invincible mm-hmm. Season 2. So, if you haven't seen Season 1, <laughs> watch it. Because uh, if you if you, if you you are a fan of The Boys, you should watch it. <laughs> <laughs> Sobrang uh, astig din. Iba rin, iba rin Invincible. It's an animated animated uh, series under Prime. So, Prime Video Season Red. 1, mm-hmm. at, I think 2019, no? 2019 yep. or 2020 yung 2020 Season ata. 1. So, it's... Sobrang tagal and I think it deserves more appreciation and I think we're gonna have season 2 this year. I'm excited about Invincible. Yeah. Blake, how about you? What are you excited for 2023? Um, well, for starters, I gotta say the MCU films are coming out this year. I mean, next mm-hmm. month you got Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania. We got Kang the Conqueror, finally the Kang that we are waiting for. <laughs> Ever since we got teased a little bit in Loki, Loki. season one, and now we're finally getting it. Jonathan made it in his glory. Oof. Yes, here we go. Here we go. Even though they did recast Cassie, but that's fine. But yeah. And of course, we got Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, the final outing for this version of the Guardians, as well as James Gunn and Dave Bautista. Hopefully, you know, they end with a banger. I mean, obviously, they're going to end with a banger. I mean, the first two have always been great, so expectations for the third one are pretty good, which 
technically means that we should not be too hopeful because it might not be what we expect. I don't know. Let's just let's just lower. Let's <laughs> cross our fingers and hopefully. Uh, let's just lower our fingers. Spider Man Three. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, and on, from my end, the man, I'm actually excited about two movies. So, as you said, Blake, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Three, which is the the the, the capping off of James Gunn's run with Marvel Studios, and hopefully, you know, hello DC, and we're also excited what he's gonna do with DC Studios. And siempre, if you're not, if you might hate this, but I'm also excited for the Flash, uh, not for Ezra Miller, but for what the the creators are doing for you know, for that movie so hopefully hopefully oh, oh, hopefully it will come out good um i still don't have any uh antawag dyan, admiration for Ezra Miller so but i will support the movie the flash <laughs> there you go so so yeah we are excited for 2023 and hopefully uh next year now we'll do this again what will be our top 10 2023 comic book films and series and shows so hope you guys that you're watching us or have been listening to us for over an hour already enjoy this episode this is the first time that we are on on geek talk ph uh facebook page and uh youtube page so hopefully you'll uh abangan nyo yung aming weekly episodes dito sa sa geek talk ph so there you go and any last words guys and from ano from the from the from this group um anything that you want to say to the audience uh, and pro- and also promote yourself then before we end the show noah so yeah thank you so much for if you you're still here if you're still here listening <laughs> to us thank you so much it super appreciate all the support and since from the from our episode zero up until now we're now here with the geek talk ph page but uh, again, you can still listen to us to other platforms like Spotify, uh, in YouTube, and in Apple Podcasts. So thank you so much again, uh, Geeky Pinoy here, Noah. So just follow me on the on my platforms. Thank you so much for all the support. So much love, appreciate it. Yes, thank you, Noah Blick. <laughs> all right, everybody. Of course, I have been Blake Salcedo, aka Aqua Blake. Of course, you can find me on IG, TikTok, Facebook. Again, thank you guys so much for the support from the Geek Podcast to now here with Geek Talk PH. We're going to get it done this year. And since it's the new year, I know a lot of you guys are coming back to work. And don't worry, guys, I'm here to tell you it is okay to be sad about going back to work. It is okay to hate your job. It is fine. Don't let anyone else tell you any different. <laughs> <laughs> well, done. well done well done well done well done well <laughs> all right and i am ray and i'm your night of fun and yeah you can find me on my socials uh tiktok ig fb and um also letterbox if you're if you have a letterbox account and pen lab catch my comic at pen lab um you can find trinity there search to lang siya. um yeah and hopefully we i uh, know we get to uh you get to interact more so make sure to leave a comment it's uh it's natin sa, sa podcast namin and can't wait for the next episode so abangan na lang ang mga announcements namin for the next episode we'll tease you on what will be coming but hopefully it will be it will be another good episode that as similar to what we had tonight so ilang and thank you guys for 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 tonight's episode we'll see you next week bye Hey guys. <laughs>